Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. I'm Lith, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Uh, smuggling is illegal. I'm turning you in. I don't think so. Boys! Oh. It is begun. Our skill has won the day. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. I'm looking for a thief who dares steal from the Shepherd. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. More enemies ahead. Your head will make lovely crunching noise. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yes, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm gonna fall into the sky. No, that's not gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> when my dot left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. What about a generous kick in the face? Yeah, how nice. Um, here's five silver. Buy yourself some food. Well, thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Tell me about Dust Town. It's pretty much as you see it. The raw stone where the castless live, because we're not welcome elsewhere. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. What do you mean by brand? Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. Horrible. How did you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident to try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Can they get away with that? I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, Castless have no lineage, so it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. I should get going. I'll just stay out of your way then. <laughs> Spare a bit for the needy? Please, 
It's not for me, it's for my child. H have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. What about his father? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining caste. But since the boy was born, I've not seen Nozer heal of the lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What's wrong? My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but... I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. What happened? I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Um, uh, can a family do that? That's strange. Yeah, uh, there's a question. If you're a minor, why wouldn't your son? Why would your son be castled? But they explained previously that the child inherits the caste of the same-sex parent. So since the father is castless, therefore the child is castless as well. Isn't there any other solution? Yes, I can become castless with him, which is what I've done. Others have raised children like this, right? Begging for change, sleeping in doorways? <laughs> you should go to the Chantry. There is a... Can't you just take your son to the surface? I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there. That humans don't care about lineage. I've never met a surfacer, though. I, I thought it might not be safe. I'm from the surface. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. If I were tall and beautiful like you, can make all sorts of money. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the highlight of underground existence, I take it. You're yeah, very funny. Haromont's men are gonna get their beards handed to them. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? What are you talking about? Well, that sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. Are you Basil Haramond? Or B Basil, perhaps? Not Basil. I am. So if you're not here to... How do you know who I am? If you tell me what's happening, I could help you. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. So you're afraid your affair will be exposed? She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. Would you fight again, if your secret was safe? There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. What evidence does Balin have? 
They have letters. Love letters Revelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. I could get those letters back. I mean, I'm a sucker for love. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter Miaja has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Harrowmont again. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. 